Hi everybody, my name is Daryl Oney and I'm music director of the Victoria Symphony Orchestra. I want to welcome you to this video preview of our upcoming concert, February 29th. Um, it, it's going to be a really fun concert. I'm really excited about it because I get to work with an artist that I've never worked with and also an instrument that I've never worked with too. And I'll tell you more about that later. But first, let's start at the very beginning of this concert with some familiar fare. We're going to be opening with a very bright and fun and exciting overture by Rossini, the famous opera composer. You probably know him from uh, The Barber of Seville, for example, Semiramidi, uh, La Gaza Ladra, all of these uh, famous operas of his. And we are doing an overture of his. This is the Rossini's... Uh, one of his famous opera overtures, and we're going to be doing one called uh, The Overture to the Italian in Algiers. And this is an opera that Rossini wrote when he was only 21, so can you imagine a young guy like him writing this uh, overture? A very fun, sparkling overture. Uh, the story is one of these funny, comedic ones. Um, the Bai of Algiers, his name is Mustafa, and the Bai is uh, the governor, so he's the governor in, uh, in Algiers. And uh, he has um, lost the love uh, that he had for his wife. Uh, her name's Elvira. And uh, so he's talking to a servant of his named Lindoro. He's from Italy. And he's talking to him about he's lost his love and he's looking for a new female conquest. And um, Lindoro tells him about all the wonderful qualities of Italian women, women and fascinates Mustafa enough that he decides that his next conquest is going to be an Italian woman. So he uh, tells him that and he's on a search for Italian woman. Well, in the meantime, Lindoro is pining away for his, uh, the love of his life, Isabella who was in Italy. But unbeknownst to him, she's been searching for him and has uh, shipwrecked in Algiers. And so she's in the country looking for him. And uh, when she's uh, discovered by um, Mustafa and his forces, he decides, oh, here's an Italian woman. This is exactly what I was looking for. So he sets off to uh, conquer her and make her uh, his new love. Well, Isabella is everything that these other women that he was with was not. She's smart, she's intelligent, she's uh, not easily swayed by men, and uh, she has her own mind. And he kind of likes this and tries to go after her, but she manages to hoodwink him and still find Lindoro, marry him, and leave everything uh, in happy hands. And that's what happens in the opera. Uh, there's, and there's all, course, all kinds of uh, confusion, of course, and all kinds of fun comedic things that happen, as you would find in many operas, but also mostly in these uh, Italian operas by Rossini, and especially young ones when he's written when he was 21. But anyway, he wrote this uh, fun little overture, and I'm going to play you a little bit of it so you can hear some of the music. It has a very fun uh, opening. <laughs> Very bright and very happy kind of sounding overture. And a terrific opener for a concert. And that typical Rossini rhythm. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Anyway, it's a very fun, light opener and Great to start out a concert. So, Rossini's Italian in Algiers Overture. The next piece on the program, and the last piece on the second half, is a piece by an Argentinian composer named Astor Piazzolla, who's very well known for writing uh, music that employs the use of the form the tango. And he wrote a piece called uh, Five Tango Sensations for... Bandonian in string quartet, and he wrote it for the famous Kronos string quartet, and he played the part of the Bandonian. Uh, now, a lot of you probably don't know what a Bandonian is, and uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, but we are going to be doing this with full orchestra and with a, 
a soloist that I'm really excited to have uh, playing with us. Her name is Hanzi Wang. And she's not a Bandanian player, but she's rather an accordion player. And so let me just give you a real quick history about uh, uh, the accordion, the Bandanian, whatever. Uh, the accordion, it was um, invented in Berlin in around 1822. And it's, essentially, it was an instrument that uh, had a bellow to it. So it would, you move it in and back and forth to suck in air and push out air. And air would move across reeds. And there would be little buttons on one side, and that would uh, create, um, would force the air through different reeds and create different pitches. And so the very early ones were what we call diatonic uh, accordions, and what that meant was that it was pitched in some key. So it would be pitched in C, for example. So you couldn't play something in D major or E or E flat because it was just in one key. And so they had accordions in different keys, uh, similar to like. Uh, French horns. They used to be only pitched in one key until the invention of the chromatic horn. And it's the same thing with the accordion. Eventually, uh, they invented a way to make it so that the accordion can play in all different keys. And those are called chromatic uh, accordions. Now, those are accordions. Uh, sometimes you're, they're referred to as concertina, or sometimes you find this bandanian, which is similar. It's uh, still bellows. There's still either keyboards or buttons on it, and it uh, creates this kind of sound. Um, Piazzolla played a bandanian specifically, but uh, there is not a lot of difference between the bandanian and the accordion. Now, with accordions, you probably know, you've probably seen them on TV and polka bands, and it's they hold it here and they move it back and forth, and there are little buttons on this side, and there's usually a keyboard similar to that on a piano on this one side. But a lot of the... Um, accordions don't have a piano keyboard so they're not a piano accordion but they're rather are called a button accordion and instead there's a a series of buttons all lined up and uh, when you see these uh, see a picture of this you'll see that the buttons are they don't seem to they have different colors black and white and that arranges for the pitches that they know where to where to play so they can get the different sounds. Uh, our soloist Hanzi Wang is playing a, a button chromatic accordion. So you'll um, be able to see that and actually if you come to our Meet the Artist beforehand you'll get a chance to uh, talk to her and hopefully she'll have her instrument and she can explain uh, and show you her accordion. So that's just a brief history of the accordion. The piece we're playing, though, was written by Piazzolla. He made a recording uh, of himself playing it on the bandanian and with the Chrono String Quartet. And uh, so it is often done with full orchestra and for accordion. And so that's what we're going to be doing. There are five movements. They're called Asleep, Loving, Anxiety, Despertar, and Fear. And they all have... Uh, a certain kind of mood to it. Some of them are very plaintive and very sad. Some of them are a little energetic. Some are a little more happy. So um, I'm not going to play any of it because I'd like you to be surprised by hearing the sound of the or string orchestra with the accordion. But uh, accordion. But I'm uh, really excited to have um, Hanzi Wang uh, coming to play. She's one of the top classical accordionists in the world. And she'll be coming to Victoria to play the Piazzolla Five Tango Sensations for string orchestra and accordion. Finally, we come to the second half, a piece by a composer well known to all of you, Johannes Brahms. Uh, as a symphonic composer, he's written a series of overtures, his famous uh, uh, variations on a theme by Haydn, and of course, he wrote four symphonies. Uh, Brahms was a, somewhat of a reluctant writer in some ways because he always revered the composers that came before him. And because Beethoven wrote his famous nine symphonies, uh, Brahms was very reluctant to even go there into the symphonic realm. And it took him quite a long time before he finally wrote and released his first symphony. Um, it's said that Brahms destroyed as much music as he actually wrote, music that he, he, he wrote and he decided he just didn't like it and he didn't want the world to see it, he didn't want anyone to get a hold of it and he destroyed it. And finally, uh, when he got something, then he released it. And so he wrote uh, four symphonies. 
but he also wrote <clears throat> some other orchestral works that were hard to classify. Uh, they're multi-movement works, but uh, not really symphonies. He called them serenades, and he wrote two of them. And the first one, uh, I like to call his Symphony Number no. Zero because it um, preceded um, his first symphony and all the other symphonies. Um, and uh, it's a large work. It's it's just as big as his symphonies, just as long. Um, but the difference is, it's it's in. Separate, it's been more movements. It's not just four movements like a standard symphony, but rather in six. So this is the Brahms Serenade Number no. One in D major uh, for uh, orchestra, and it's typical or a sound of Brahms. And I'm going to play you just a little bit here, so you'll get a chance to uh, idea of the sound. <laughs> That nice little teen waltz movement. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the kind of chromatic harmonies you expect in Brahms. Of course, Brahms loved the horn. Kind of a happy, peppy theme. This is the first of movement. I play you the one of the inner movements just earlier. Uh, another movement. This is the slower movement. Very majestic. And like all multi-movement works, you need fast movements, moderate ones, and slow ones. And this is the slow movement. And of course there's always a faster movement to end. Anyway, that's a little bit of the Brahms Serenade Number no. 1. You'll get to hear all six of the movements uh, at our concert on February 29th. So we hope we'll see you in the concert hall to hear Rossini's Italian and Algiers Overture, the Piazzo La Five Tango Sensations for accordion and string orchestra, played by classical accordionist Hansi Wang, and the Brahms Serenade Number no. 1 in D major. Um, the Piazzo, I believe, is a premiere. We've never played this, this piece ever here in Victoria with the Victoria Symphony. And I believe the Brahms Serenade No. 1 also is going to be premiere. Even though it's Brahms, it's never been played in Victoria. So you'll get to hear two pieces that have never been played in Victoria. And two pieces that probably don't very often get played at all. We may be the only orchestra even in the state that's playing these two pieces uh, this season. So uh, we hope to see you then, and thanks for listening.